Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TerraTech uh, version 5.0. Now, on the last episode, I just basically introduced you guys to the the basics of combat. Got a little bit, just this little bot right here in front of us. And I went ahead and took over our first base. Uh, now I'm going to go over here and collect a few different kinds of resources, things that we haven't collected before, uh, like this uh, Iridiite uh, outcrop, these little shards. And you'll see some of them are stronger than others. Some of them will give more loot than others. You know, than trees and, and rocks and things of that sort. We're going to go ahead and get some of this, this purple stone kind of looking stuff. And actually make sure to pick up all this. Now from what I've seen, all the resources in this game do eventually respawn. But it takes quite a long time uh, for some of it to come back. So if you're in a hurry to get some of this stuff, you may want to uh, keep in mind that uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a while. You may have to go pretty far away if you uh, waste a lot of the resources near your camp. Uh, so let's see. Now, if you look over here, you'll actually see the batteries, the little yellow counting down bar, showing you how much energy we have stored in these two batteries. One's completely full, and one is down to two yellows. And you can see that it's making stuff. It's making those blocks into things, and then it's selling those ingredients, those things that we don't need. And so... Right now, I can harvest wood, and it turns it into a hydrocarbon capsule, which then can be used to power uh, my... Let's get on this. Come on, open it up already, guys. There we go. To power my, my energy. And then uh, I can also harvest uh, this ore right here, which turns it into this uh, ignit. And then I can also harvest the erudite shard, which turns it into a crystal. Unfortunately, they're just selling everything that I harvest. So before I take off to go any further, to go over there to that little uh, yellow question mark, I'm going to get a little bit more trees to power up my station again, because you can see that the, the energy was going a little low. Let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff real quick. Not too much, because I can only carry so much at one time uh, with, this, uh, with this little collector. I think there's a limit to how much you can have. And uh, it goes ahead and, and zaps it off where these little yellow... Or not yellow, these little white uh, GSO receivers are. So when you design your base, you want to make sure there's a couple of these uh, on the end somewhere to be able to pick up all the the resources. Now, if you look at the, the fuel over here, you can see that it's counting up. The green line is going up to the top as it fuels the batteries. So the more batteries you get, or the ba more batteries you make, uh, the less of these things, uh, or the less often you'll have to come back and recharge them. So now those are completely full up, and it's actually selling the uh, the leftover ingredients um, before I leave though I'm gonna take my my collector off and leave it on the base because it is something that you don't want to destroy if you if you lose that collector <laughs> you're gonna be doing things the hard way basically oh my god what is that over there is there a, a yellow bot is that a yellow bot come on let me see it it looks like a yellow bot stuck in a tree yeah, he is stuck in a tree. Uh, let's see, is there an easy way to kill this guy without taking him out of the tree? Well, he doesn't have very much on him. Uh, I don't want to destroy the yellow thing, though, because I want that. Here we go. Come well, on, huh, where can I put it? I'll put it on the front. That isn't bothering me. There we go. And I get some bigger wheels, so we'll go ahead and put those on before we leave. And I'm going to have to change where that thing goes because that's just not working. So let's put these bigger wheels here. Um, hmm. Actually, let's enter build mode real quick, guys. And I will... Kind of... I'm going to have to tear this apart real quick. <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but I have to. Let's go ahead and tear that down. We'll put uh, this going out a little further, and then we'll turn it sideways. And that will give us enough room to put this sucker right here in the middle. There we go. And then we can put these back on the back. And we definitely want our... Well, we can put that on the side. That's our radar unit. So make sure that these things are facing the right direction. If you put them on, the default is to face forward to the front of your vehicle which you, uh, you know, don't really want 
uh, on the back. You know, you want them to be facing either to the side or to the back, uh, so they can hit people who uh, spin around you. Let's look. Uh, so now we got a few different places we can put some some wheels, and you can kind of see that it does have a placement that it wants to put it, rather than uh, than where you would prefer to have it. See, it's right there on the side again. And it's really hard sometimes to get in the exact spot that you want. Come on. I'll just put it up here for now. It's going to be that ridiculous. And when I take these wheels off, let's see if we can get this exactly where we want. Nope. Well, when I remove this, this yellow thing, when I get back to my base, uh, that's not going to be an issue. I'll be able to put the wheels back on. Let's see. Let's get over here. Can we get over the hill? No. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's the problem when you get too wide. What is this? Is somebody firing at our... Somebody's firing at our base. Stop. No. You little punk. He's gone for like five seconds. And he destroyed or knocked off some of the uh, the pieces of our, ba our base. You suck, man. I don't like you at all. Let's... If you destroy anything of value, anything that we absolutely have to have. In fact, I don't think he destroyed anything at all, from what I can tell. He did damage it a little bit, but it goes ahead and repairs itself uh, pretty quickly. So let's drag this over here as well, which it's not letting us do. There we go. And we got a new weapon. So we'll put that on. This one actually... Yeah, we'll put it on the front. And did we get... No, we lost our radar. Let's put that back on. Let's see, did it drop anything else for us to loot? No, that's it. That sucks. I think I took out what we didn't want him to take out. Wow, this is incredibly hard to turn. They changed the mechanics a little bit, guys. This is a lot harder to move around than it was the first time I played the game. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Let's let's put these wheels on. Give us a little bit more traction. Almost like a caterpillar. So let's see. Oh yeah, that's a little bit easier to turn. It was just the fact they didn't have enough wheels on. So I am going to move this to the side. If it will cling on. There we go. Drag this. I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, not doing too hot. Now, the reason I'm doing this is to collect some resources so that I can heal that uh, little piece up that we just got before I go off and uh, see if we can collect some pieces that we haven't actually found before and then maybe make some. I'm really, really excited to get that base uh, going, which is kind of what I've... I'm slowing down a little bit on the combat. Usually, you're just going to be doing a lot of combat in this game, but... For now, I'm kind of slowing down on that so that I can do more of uh, this unique stuff with the base. I want to be able to make blocks. I want to see how that is, how that's done, how that's incorporated into the game. No, and remember, you can toss stuff on the ground, but if it's not connected to either your your building, your your base over here, or to you yourself, it will eventually despawn, and uh, you'll lose it forever. So, if you uh, there's another guy over here. I don't really want to attack him, but yeah, let's come over here to this, this little yellow spot. Hopefully we can take it on. And it's not too hard. And hopefully our base is still there when we get back. Uh, it should be a little bit easier to protect it. I think you can actually get, uh, like, guard towers and things of that sort to put on your base. So it can defend it while it's gone. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Oh yeah, punk, you're going down. Die. Oh, nice. Wow, that was quick. I do love those lasers that shoot straight. Those are really nice. So let's see. I am going to turn this sideways. There we go. And now we can get some more bigger, some bigger wheels. Ah, those are the small ones. What is over here? Uh, another one of these, which are always nice to have because if you lose one, uh, then you're you're pretty much out of luck. What is this? Another one? I don't know if we want three, but since we don't have a spot uh, for a weapon or something like that, we might as well. And we'll go ahead and grab this guy. 
and put them over here in the middle. Gives a little bit more traction. Oh, now we're moving. Okay, so these are the little spots. Now that we find this, let me put that on. We should be able to go back to our base and be able to make one of those if if it's actually working. If it, if this doesn't work, then we may be missing a few little things and I guess I'll just have to run around and actually uh, kill some people, upgrade our bot a little bit more than it actually is right now and see if we can we can get it working. Now if you look at the map on the top right corner you'll see a little blue arrow that's leading us back to our base. The little blue shield allows us to repair if you remember at the very beginning. Uh, let's see, we're going to come back over here and let's see if we get any new options. Hopefully we will. Cross your fingers, guys. So let's see, where would we get that? I think it's probably going to be here. Uh, refinery slot. Uh, no, we can make sap jelly into rubber bricks, but refinery allows you to, let's click on it and give it a second allows you to refine raw resources into something useful. What about this? Come on, you tell me we don't have what we need, small generator. Uh, that sucks. We can't make anything with any of the stuff we have. Bubbles will only work connected to an active power source. Uh, you're connected to an active power source, but okay. Let's see, what does it say? Repair bubble, and this one is what? Shield bubble. Hmm. That definitely sucks. I don't like that. Okay, so we're going to leave some of our uh, radar units here. So if we do get destroyed, at least uh, we have a couple we can run back to and grab. Because, again, we only really need one. So let's go off and kill some people. Here we go, guys. Can we find somebody? Oh, wow. Look at that guy. He might actually be doable because if you look at the bottom, he has like one block down there. He's stuck on a little platform. And if you could take that block out. Here, can we hit him? Yeah, he's like a guard tower though. There we go. Wow. Nice. We're going to pick up all of your stuff, punk. So let's see. Do we want to go out more? Yeah, we want to go out at least one or two more. Probably two. And we'll do that on either side to make it even. There we go. Let's put this down. What is this? This is what he was sitting on. I'm going to take that back to the base. I think that's our guard tower, actually. So let's put that on. We have some weapons now. These uh, little lasers will actually fire straight ahead uh, in the direction we're facing. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to put a block right here on the front to protect my my vehicle because it is the heart and soul of your your fighting unit if that gets destroyed no matter how much weapons and armor and all this other cool stuff you have that still hasn't taken any damage uh, you know you're just gonna pop open like a like a, pi a pinata basically and get prizes to anybody that you're fighting so yeah definitely keep an eye out for that let's let's click on this and see what it says about the unit a GSO ro rotating anchor rotating anchor that can be planted in the ground great for sentry guns well it's kinda cool it's not really great and I can't pick up any of these vehicles I wonder why I can't pick up any of that stuff maybe it will give me access to it now I don't I mean no you can't destroy it because I've tried doing that before and it doesn't do anything well let's go back and deliver the sentry gun to our base put it down because as we've seen already our base can get attacked and you only have one base if the base is destroyed uh, pretty much game over there's not much you can do after that because you can't rebuild another base you know you don't have the base to do it so yeah you wanna you wanna protect it you can also put blocks all the way around it you could technically build like a castle you know all the way around it and that would protect it a little bit so let's see where do we wanna put this uh, in fact most of the time I play I always see the, f the, the fights come from over here in this direction so let's put this there and uh, yeah we're just gonna put one weapon on top because I don't really have that many to spare right now so let's let's put uh, this one over here and we'll put it on top for now until we get a lot more weapons that we can come over here and, and maybe make it a little bit better now let's see more enemies oh there's one behind us let's go kill that guy come on baby 
And I love the music in here. It reminds me a lot of uh, the Firefly TV show, if you guys have never seen that. Uh, it definitely has like that old western but sci-fi feel to it. Let's see. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four guys down here. I don't think we can take on that many, actually. Oh, he's already seen us. There's another base down here. Oh, so it's not that many dudes. It's actually like a lot of workers. We're definitely killing these people and taking that base. Can I get a little closer? No, it's not doing anything. Can't hit him at this angle. Here we go. Boom, baby. You are dead. Let's... No, I don't want that. Do want this. Let's put that over here. Actually, let's put it over here. Uh, don't need another radar unit. But I will put this here. Move it around to the front of my vehicle. Nice. And these other guys, again, are just little workers. Which are why they're not attacking. Let's go ahead and attack this guy. Die. I killed him, but I destroyed most of his stuff. That kind of sucks. Let's, uh... Put some weapons now. That's it? That's all he had was one weapon? Let's destroy you. The last one in our ob obstacle. No, 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 what happened? Did he destroy me? Oh, he destroyed me! Oh my god, that sucks. Where's my guy? Where's my stuff? It's all still there if I can get back to it in time. Let's see, can I defeat him with one little laser? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, come on, don't pew, pew, pew like that. No, you suck. You suck. Leave me alone. I'm gonna drill you. <laughs> Come on, punk. There, there's, there's my drill. Oh, yeah. Eat that, punk. Oh, he got me. Suck. And now it's it's game over yet again, I think. Uh, let me exit out. This is the same thing that happened last time. Save and exit, guys. Let's see if that fixes it again. I guess maybe you only get two lives in this one before it's over. Let's continue and see where that leaves us. Maybe back with our vehicle again. Yeah, it's back with our vehicle. Back before we got into uh, the second fight. So let's take these guys on. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And die. Give me all your stuff. Boom, baby. Oh, uh, come on, let me kill you. You know you want to die too. Yeah, there we go. So, because my little dude is obviously damaged. I need to go ahead and and bring this out a little bit more. Usually I wait a little while before I, I do this, but as you can see, we kind of have to. Don't really have that much of a choice now. Let's see. We can put this block over here. And what we're going to have to do is raise up. Actually, let's move all these, these weapons forward. And there's still one more enemy over there who could attack at any moment. So we are taking a little bit of a chance here, uh, but don't really have that much of a choice. Let's put this weapon, or this block up here, put this block up here, there we go. So now we can have, uh, yeah, a lot more weapons, uh, another radar unit, might as well take that. Uh, big wheels, probably a little overdone on the wheels, but like I said, you know, might as well. We'll always throw those down later on if we don't really need them. There we go. Now we are definitely a caterpillar. Let's see. Destroy you, punk. Oh, and you're stuck, too. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. Boom, baby. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm stuck, too. What am I stuck on? There we go. Let's go ahead and put these over here. No, no, turn it. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess let's go out in the back so we have more guns back here. Uh, I didn't want you to throw it like that, but okay. Sometimes when you put the, the pieces down on the ground, it decides that what you really meant to do was throw it a mile away from where you're actually at for some reason. And I'm not sure why it does that. So we got some drills here on the back. Make sure we put some weapons back here to make it worthwhile Let's do this one. Going sideways. We'll get rid of this wheel for a second. And it threw it a little bit, but not too bad. 
And the way you can make sure that this uh, block is facing the direction you want is to use the scroll wheel. So keep that in mind, guys. So we'll put that there, put the wheel back on. Okay, so now we have all of our weapons and all of our stuff. Now we have to pick up this entire base and move it with us. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Let's, let's put this as flat as possible to carry as much as possible with us. Okay, so now it is all broken up. Here we go. Uh, man, this is going to be hard because you got to worry about the weight distribution. If it's not, you know, level, your base is going to fall apart or, f you know, your, your vehicle is going to tip over. Come on, I can't put that on the top. I guess I can, kind of. Uh, what about this? Okay, I can attach those there. Put that over there in the front. No idea what any of this stuff does, but we'll definitely look at it all when we get back to our base if we get back without getting destroyed because they do love to uh, to attack you when you're in the middle of doing something a lot of the time so keep that in mind guys no. there we go all these connections man this is gonna be a heavy vehicle so I'll be surprised if the wheels can handle it if we don't get stuck on something let me change angle so I can pick this stuff up a little faster uh, there we go Keep going. Connectors. These connectors really aren't hugely important. You don't really need every single one of them if you don't want to. Uh, but it does make it easier so you can design your base a little bit more. Because this is basically the conveyor belt at which the resources you give the base will go in, in certain patterns. Um, and so the more of these you have, just, uh, you know, the more uh, versatility, more flexibility you have uh, with your, your vehicle. Oh my god, this is going to be a... <laughs> Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, wow. This is... This is something else. No, don't run over that. Here we go. We're building up a little bit of speed. You can see, like, the wheels are sparking in the background. That's how much, you know, effort they're putting into it to try to get you going. Let's come on. Move, move, move. There's a red guy up here somewhere. We're going to try to avoid him. Uh, there's our base right there in the distance. Just over a couple of hills. Can we make it? There we go. Yeah. Building some speed up. Okay. Now that we are back, hopefully we are going to be safe here for a little while. No guarantees, but we'll try it out now. I am going to just attach everything as best as I can. Why can't I attach this? Let me pick this up. What is on the ground? Anything? Yeah, something right there. Okay, so, okay, we can attach over here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me attach it down there. Let's do this. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you throw it like that? Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this uh, on camera, guys. I know some people cut that stuff out, and if you would prefer me to uh, shorten the video length a little bit more in the future, uh, you know, I'm more than willing to do that. The reason I'm doing this on camera is, one, I want you guys to see exactly how long some of this stuff takes. And two, you just never know when the uh, the enemy is going to come running at you and, and destroy you. And if that happens, I want that to be on camera because this is this is a pretty big part. I, mean, I know a lot of you guys are been waiting for the base function. And I definitely want to show you what that involves. Uh, let's see. So all that's down. Let's let's go ahead and put some of these things down. Not even sure what they are, but we'll put some of them down for now. Get them off of our guy, just in case we do get attacked. We can move around a little bit easier. Come on. It's having a hard time figuring out where I want to place these things. That's uh, oh wow, two of these things. I don't know what that is. Oh, we also have these things as well. Let's put those down. <laughs> and we'll have to take a look at what these do. I may have to redesign where I'm putting these guys. Uh, let's see. Come on. I can't attach it to. Oh, there we go. I don't know why. Oh! Let's do undo. What does that do? Oh, sweet! Nice. So that is what undo does. Okay. I like that. So if you do make a, make a, make a mistake. Sorry, guys. Wow, I can't speak tonight then you will be able to undo that to a certain uh, uh, degree. Let's see, you can put that there. 
put this over here make this one of those uh, ways of getting in uh, come on there we go uh, can we go to the side I mean it's having a hard time figuring out what I want to do here there we go nope almost there we go so yeah still a little bit of work to be done on the the building phase of uh, of this game let's uh, I guess we can put it over here. That's where it kind of wants to go anyways. There we go. What is this? No idea. <laughs> Some of you guys are watching and probably thinking, I know exactly what that is. This is what you do with it. Yeah, leave it down in the comments. If I don't figure it out on this episode, uh, you're more than willing, or more than uh, perfectly fine to give me some tips and tricks on what I need to do. Okay, so now that all that is done, I need to look at... Let's look at this thing and see what this is. GSO Scrapper, a handy unit that smashes up blocks and reduces them back to their component resources. Okay, not quite sure why I would use that. GSO 2 Fabricator. Two slot fabricator, take two ingredients and fuse them into a third outcome, or a new third outcome. Recipes, two plus two blocks. Okay, so maybe now I can make something. I can make... Yeah, because that's what this is, this is going to do. This is going to make me a GSO standard block with uh, two of these and the way I get those is by putting them into my refinery over here which uh, makes those out of uh, my stone this ore over here so I need to get some of that what is this stuff over here uh, delivery cannon sells unwanted items I have a lot of those and I think if it gets to those before it gets to this other thing it will go ahead and uh, okay so there's another refinery here what is this uh, another refinery. So I'm going to put this here and I am going to take this off. And can I put it over here somewhere? Can I attach it? Come on, let me attach it somewhere. There we go. And I'm going to take my big sucker, attach that to the side. No, oh, I knocked something off. We'll attach it for now when I go back. So, let's go ahead and get some trees for fuel, some stone for my new blocks, which I could use quite a few of. Let's get this tree here. There we go. Well, I'm getting heavier and heavier, not just because of the hill, but because of all the blocks I'm picking up. That must be something new they've added, because that was not uh, in the last patch that I was playing. But they've added a lot of changes, some of them very, very cool. So, yeah, I am... I'm definitely uh, excited about the changes they're making. Uh, no, no, not on this side. Not on this side. Come on. <laughs> Over here on this side. There we go. Let me get a little closer. Can I... I can't even turn with this stuff on. Here we go. I have to back up. Do my little beeping noise. Beep, beep. Wide load coming through. Here we go. So let's see. Will it make it into an item that I can use? Uh, do I tell it to do it or does it just do it automatically uh, I think it just made some wheels there for a second yes he just made some wheels no uh, oh wow it was going to get rid of that I think so this is the thing that's causing the problem it's a scrapper it's getting rid of stuff I don't want it to get rid of um so we're going to move that over on this side so it's out of the way. Put this down over here. Let's see, what is this? Another scrapper. So three blocks make two of those things, and a block and dirt make a wheel. That's not what this is, right? It's a scrapper. It takes away the stuff I make. Yeah, we don't want that over here. We want that over there, somewhere out of the way. There we go. So there's a will there, which we don't really want. I'm going to have to redesign this, this thing to kind of make sure I don't lose. Where'd he go? He just disappeared? That sucks. Um... Uh, yeah, let's get all these things out of the way. These things sell the items. 
and I don't want that to go on at the moment. Let's put all this over here. We need to put our battery back to be able to charge that up. Uh, we need to connect this somehow to the rest of the the rest of the uh, the little pathway here, but it won't let me. There we go. Let's come on. I don't understand why it's giving me such a hard time here. There we go. And let's put this... Oh, come on. I knew that was going to happen, but that still sucked. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we undo it? There we go. We undid it. There we go. That's that's fine. Uh, let's see. We'll put this over here. And we will connect it through this way right here. So, let's zoom out a little bit. What do we have here? Uh, refinery will allow you to refine raw resources. Okay, so we do want these over here somewhere. We'll put this right over here with it. And I think it just tossed the wheel here on the ground. Actually, I think I see it right there. Yeah, it attached it. It attached it to the ground or to the, the to the actual uh, base. That's funny. Uh, let's see. I don't need this, so let's let's put it over here somewhere and have them sell it back. It made another one of those. Uh, come on, stop making those. I guess I'm just going to have to get blocks. Let's see if I can find some some stone to make something out of. This is purple stone. It's not the same stuff, I don't think. But let's see if we can get some of it. And without the trees. So it will just make us blocks. I don't know how to tell it just yet to make Pacific items over others. It just seems to make whatever it can with uh, with the whatever minerals uh, you happen to give it so I guess maybe that's what you have to do when you first start off is just uh, decide you know to only get a certain type maybe later on you can tell it to do something Pacific but I'm not really running into that just yet so let's come over here and see if we can force it to make some blocks because that's what I'm really interested in so let's see come on make some blocks out of it uh, are you gonna do it no you can't do anything with that they need to refine the blocks first. So there, there's two refined blocks. The other ones are being sold, I think. Which I don't want them to do that. I'm gonna have to redesign it. So they all go through over here first. Now, it made another wheel. I don't want it to make wheels. What are they doing? Make some blocks, man. Another wheel. Here we go, two blocks. How do I force it to make... Clicking on it doesn't do anything. I don't understand. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened there. Redo that. Oh, there we go. It made some blocks, guys. Sweet. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, let's go ahead and attach this back. Let's get this block as well. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh my god, so where is it making that? What What is it going into to make that block? I need to pay attention. Let's see. I don't see it doing it again. Unless it does it over here. Is it doing it over here? And then just passing it down the... Yeah, see, there it goes right there. It just did one. So it is making it over here. Maybe uh, if it does multiple ones, it will combine somehow and do twos. So I'll give it a second to finish that up. Come on. Combine the two together. I wish I could literally tell it to do what I want it to do rather than just randomly getting stuff out of it. Uh, so if you guys know if I'm doing something wrong, like I said before, let me know. Because I don't think it's going to fix this. I guess we'll use those better than nothing. And uh, what we're going to do is actually go ahead and end the episode here, guys. On the next episode, I am going to be playing around more with my base. Uh, but then I will go out and actually uh, start hunting. Because this is, this is really cool, but I do want to uh, find more blocks that we can make. Because right now we only have just a regular 
GSO or GMSO blocks, which are not really the greatest in the world. I want to get some of the yellow blocks, which are really cool, and that's going to be pretty sweet when we can make a, an entire vehicle out of that. Uh, so again, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and if you like these episodes, please hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also want to uh, let you guys know that you're more than welcome to leave comments down below, and uh, thanks for watching the episode. I'll catch you next time.